Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today is 420 and you know what that means. Got that right, it's time for my carnivorous plant collection update for the month of April 2022. <laughs> so if you're interested in seeing it, stay tuned. A little disclaimer, my skeleton hand will be making an appearance throughout the video. Hope you enjoy! The biggest update this month is that I relocated my carnivorous plants. So if you saw the previous video, you saw that I had them separated into two sections. Now I went ahead and moved them onto this section of my backyard and they're all together. And I also placed them under a 30% shade clock. Even though we have not had temperatures above 85 degrees for longer than two or three days, I have noticed that the sun is very strong and it's starting to affect my plants. And it also did this. So just to take precautions, I went ahead and put all my plants under the 30% shade clock. My Saracenias also bloom, but I'll show you guys that shortly. So let's begin the update. So here we're going to start with the white leaf. Keep sundew. I do need to repot it. I just have been extremely busy, but I will get to it. Next to it, I have a few of the typical Venus white cups that I am still giving away. Um, I will most likely be taking them to the Southern California Carnivorous Plant in two series, either show or sell and just give them out. These are my bare root saracenias. You can see some flower stalks. Those are from the typical Venus fly traps next to it. And then if you look at my saracenias, I'm pretty confident to say that this is a saracenia flava. But, I mean, I am fairly new to Saracenias, so if I'm wrong, please correct me. They are starting to get slight coloration on their veins and their lids. So, I'm excited to see if they get more color or they stay this cream yellow color. Up next, we have my Saracenia Black Widow. So as you can see, it's beginning to get its vibrant color at the moment and I'm excited to wait and see if it gets darker as it gets more sunlight. I'm in love with the color and I hope to collect more of these dark or red Saracenias in the future. Up next, we're going to be moving on to my Venus flytraps. If you look closely, you will notice that I did cut off the flower stalks on a lot of them. So here in the front, I have cup trap. Next to it, we have fang. And here I have B52. It's beginning to produce its larger traps. And next to it, I do have alien. Traps are fairly large. So they're only gonna get larger, so I'm excited for that. Here we have bristle too. Gargoyle is also producing some large traps. Pretty big. I don't think it got this big last year. In the back, I do have my Dana's Delight Saracenia. This is the flower. And next to it, I do have my Bare Root Saracenia from California Colonial Forest. I'm pretty confident that this, this is a Saracenia Flava. So I ended up getting Saracenias because I want to start adding more temperate plants to my collection. So here in the front we have DCXL. These are the small ones and they're already producing pretty large traps. Next to it we have King Henry and look at these monster traps. back we have Towering Giant, it's also producing large traps. Next to it we have Dutch Delight. Jaws. It's very large traps, but 
the jagged teeth. In the back, we have fake Dracula. It's starting to get its coloration inside the trap. And here we have FDS Moon Monster. This is probably one of my favorite fly traps. And it produces large traps, but at the moment, they're still not at the largest. Here in the back, we have SD Chronos, and this plant is producing giant traps. Take a look at this. Look at the cilia. Large trap with long lashes. Here in the front, we have Ron Gagliardo. It's a pretty large trap. Next up, we have Mirror. And as you can see, it's starting to produce its mutated traps. So this light trap produces, produces traps on the side of the trap that resembles a mirror-like reflection. It did not do it last year, so I'm excited to see it this time around. Back here we have Akai Ryu. Next to it we have our Luko Hybrid. And this picture should be opening soon. Maybe in a few days. Back here we have Lips and Lashes. Purple Ambush it's starting to get its coloration on the traps. Here we have Dracula. Typicals. So these are typicals, but I decided to keep them because it does produce fairly large traps. Here in the front, we have Dainty Traps. Big Vigorous, Vigorous. Low Giant, FTS, Crimson Sawtooth. Petite Dragon, Cross with Jaws. FTS, Shogun Star. Teeth Dragon Run. Not that big yet, but they will get there. Here we have Trev's Dracula. Great White Shark. Arching Flat Skin Leaves. Southwest Giant. Here we have another typical, and this is another one that was fairly large, so I decided to keep it. These were my typicals that I purchased at Home Depot. And I've had them for this will be a third year. Up next we have Black Pearl. giant with the false baby peri. So if you look closely, a lot of the flowers did burn because that's when we had a heat wave here in Los Angeles and a lot of those flowers did not make it. So it's pretty interesting to see. This is the second year this plant produced this. Up next we have DCXL. And it's also producing large traps. Here we have typical, these are flower stalks that I removed from my typical Venus fly traps that I am giving away. This is my Utricularia, also known as bladderwort. I'm fascinated by these tiny little carnivorous plants so their carnivorous aspect is actually below the soil so their roots actually suck in tiny little microorganisms below the soil and I did purchase new plants here on the left you will see this flytrap rose this was purchased from rainbow carnivorous plants and I also purchased this green jaws giant kudo to bar from them. So I'm excited to see this grow. Here we have Bohemian Garnet, Pink, Red Dragon. Back here we have FTS Towering Giant. Then we have Red Piranha. This is probably the biggest it got last 
last year and it kept burning every time it got warm. So this time it's doing great. So I'm hoping I get a larger trap. Next we have 007 as the Draco Shoop and Steel. And if you look closely at its pedials, you will begin to see the dragon-like scaling. FDS Maroon Monster is doing great. Uh, here we're going to be starting with the Cape Sundews. Here we have the Cape Sundew in the Peat Moss and Perlite and the one in Full Sphagnum Moss. And by looking at it this month around, it looks like the Peat Moss and Perlite is doing much better than the Full Sphagnum Moss. Here are some Crazy Craig Carnivorous plant purchases that I made. So this is Green Jaws Goliath. And behind it, we have Red Onyx. As you can see, a lot of these Cape Sundews are looking great. They have, they're covered in dew, which is perfect. They could get all these fungus nets. Triton and the Drosphorus spatulatus putting out flowers so it's just gonna spread. Uh, this is extra utricularias that were on my previous pods. Here we have Unspotty, open pollinated spider. It's producing pretty large traps too. Here's a comparison next to my hand. Back here we have Big Tomato. Blood Red and Red Microden. It's beginning to get its red color. Here we have my main school, Cape Sundew. Now moving on to this tray. This is my California Carnivores flytrap tray. So here in the front we have Tiger Teeth crossed with Sawtooth. It's not doing great, so I might remove this moss around the crown and hopefully that comes back we shall see what happens up next we have the filiformis or donna albiflora as you can see it's also producing a lot of dew and it's getting bright red so next to it we do have pac-man behind it we have hair cones also have some terrestrial bladder works and I believe it also has a sundew. Here we have sunrise starting to get its coloration. Next to it we have harmony. Here we have alien with a lot of terrestrial bladder words. Dragon spread. I need to remove some of the moths from these spots. Here is my other hair comb. It's much bigger than the other one. So I may be combining them. I don't know. Felix. Doing pretty good. Next up we have Scarlet Tea and I love the color on this plant. Look at the traps. Such a vibrant color and it's just a beautiful trap. Next to it we have Giant Clam which has a very similar color. I'll go ahead and pick it up to show you guys. So I believe this one should be producing larger traps than Scarlet Tea but we will see. I've only had this for about two months, but I love the color on these traps. Okay, up next we have long red fingers. So I believe as long as it starts getting more sun, it should start producing the red cilia. Next we have Korean melody shark and cross teeth. Next we have salt too. And FTS flaming lips. Next tray over here in the front we have we have bimbo. Mega traps. Gremlin. Fondue. 
Royal Red. Here we have B52 with Big Mouth, Red Jaws, Big Mouth, Clayton's Red Sunset. This is Spider. It's producing very large traps as well, but it has always been producing large traps. Long Red Fingers. This is a tiny plant compared to the other one. This is Werewolf, Fuse Tooth, Holland Red, Fuzzy Teeth. Wally and Martha's lips. Here on the side, we have the additional pots with the flower stalks that I removed from my typical fly traps. Here we have Dracula Cos with B52. So you're beginning to see the larger traps. This cultivar is pretty large. Not as big as Kim Henry, but it's a large trap. These here are typicals, and these tiny ones are actually from sour stock propagation from last year. Lastly, we have these two Cape Sundews. This is my narrow leaf Cape Sundew from California Carnivores. Orange Sherbert, also from California Carnivores. And here are my pinwiculas. I do have these indoors, but as you can see, they are coming out of dormancy and shooting out their carnivorous leaves. This little guy here already caught a fungus gnat, so safe to say that they already have their carnivorous leaves so we have bugbane gypsy cola crossed with Montezume but this little guy actually fell on the way home when we purchased it and kind of dried a little bit but if you look closely there is another Wakula coming out of one of its leaves. Probably one of the ones that dried. And back here we have Marnensis. So that is it for this update. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to give this video a like. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down in the comment section below. If you missed the previous video, I'll make sure to link it in the description. And going forward, I do plan on, on uploading the update videos on the 15th of every month. Hopefully, if you're interested and you have not subscribed yet, make sure to do so. And I will see you guys in the next one.